static regulation. You should be knowing about this concept because long as well as short notes are often asked on this. Long note as simply as homeostatic regulations, write a note on homeostatic regulation, right. So, how this homeostatic regulation happens in our body, there are two different mechanism for that, two different mechanism which are the negative feedback mechanism which is very very common, negative feedback mechanism and one is the positive feedback mechanism. Now, why I took negative first? Because remember, this is the major feedback mechanism which work all throughout the body, right? Whichever system you take, there is negative feedback mechanism which is present, right? In some condition only, there is a positive feedback mechanism which is physiologically present. If in the pathology, positive feedback mechanism is present, that is nothing but the vicious cycle and that will lead to the morbidity as well as mortality of the patient, right? So, in the negative feedback mechanism, what is it? In short, if you have to discuss it, then if you give a stimulus, any stimulus, then what its response will be? It will be inversely proportional to that particular stimulus, right? If I have to give the example, for example, take the example of temperature. If the temperature of your body increases, uh, for example, in exercise, day-to-day -day life exercises, right. For example, in the exercise, if the temperature of body increases, what the body will do? The body causes vasodilation, right. And through the sweating, if the temperature is increased, what will happen to the temperature after a negative feedback mechanism? The temperature will decrease, right. So, this is known as negative feedback mechanism. So, remember the stimulus is always uh, in opposite to that of the response, right? Whatever stimulus is, uh, the response will be in the opposite direction. So, body is maintaining the temperature in the physiological state, right? So, uh, you can take any example in the BP also in the heart rate also, right, the baroreceptor and everything will work that will learn as will go through the systems, right, the respiratory as well as severe system. Now, what happens in the positive feedback mechanism? Remember, positive feedback mechanism, I am talking about the homeostatic regulation which is physiological, right. So, in the positive feedback mechanism, what happens is the stimulus, if you give the stimulus, The response will be what it will cause the response indirectly what it is doing is it is again stimulating the stimulus and again the response is getting enhanced uh, as you increase the stimulus. Over here what is happening in the negative feedback though the response is actually inhibiting the stimulus. Right? So, that is the basic difference between the negative and positive feedback mechanism. Now, now, I told you that majority there are negative feedback mechanism, but in some cases there is positive feedback mechanism are working. So, let us take the exceptional examples of physiological positive feedback that is first is you should be knowing clotting cascade that we will do when we are doing the blood system, right. So, clotting cascade, once one clotting system is activated, one clotting factor is activated that will further activate whole the clotting cascade. That is why it is known as cascade, right. Uh, then the parturition reflex, your LH surge in the menstrual cycle which we will talk in the reproductive system. For now, just remember the name because these are the exceptions and exceptions is the uh, uh, motto that you should be knowing for the, especially for the viva, right. And what next is the activation of digestive system.
and if you have to talk about a particular enzyme that is your uh, pepsinogen right once the trypsin is active and when the pepsinogen will be converted into pepsin and that will further activate all the enzymes so just remember the names trypsin for now and pepsinogen right so that will talk or discuss in the details in the gi system and the last one is hodgkins cycle hodgkins cycle now what is this hodgkins cycle remember if you write this point you'll get extra one mark because uh, the intelligent students will know some of these examples but the extraordinary student will know this hodgkins cycle right uh, what is this Hodgkin cycle tells you about is once there is an opening of opening of few sodium channels right that will further activate as you know that response will again stimulate the stimulus more and more so this will opening of few sodium channels will stimulate the opening of more sodium channels right so this is about the Hodgkin cycle and this is about the homeostatic regulation so you should be knowing all five exceptional cases which is the example of positive feedback mechanism which are the physiological state right